All right, so messy. 48 hours really here. Uh, yeah, it was a skating rink out there again uh, this morning for many of us uh, for that uh, morning commute. That's because we had about another one to three inches of snowfall uh, last night and then the winds kind of picked up. Now we're looking at our 72 hour totals. So dating pretty much all the way back to the beginning of the event to late Tuesday extending into Wednesday here. Wabasha at 9.5 inches of snowfall here this week. We had a report out of northern Rochester of 6.9 here at the studio closer to around five and a half. Got a report out of Stewartville of six an RST at five point three. So a little lighter there on the southern edge edge there of town. Want to talk about uh, the 15th as a whole though. December 15th, we did set a daily snowfall record yesterday at RST of 4.8 inches of snowfall. That beats the previous record of 4.2 set back in 1940. So in in all 5.3, but we did set that uh, 24 hour period record there for December 15th. As we look at estimated snowfall depths here, we're close to around five to seven inches for that snow depth at RST. Notice across the area, a lot of us anywhere from three to eight. The thing that I want to point out here is cold weather snow will stick with us, so we will have snow on the ground for Christmas coming up next week. So we will have a white Christmas this year. Notice up north here the snow depth and then again, this is just estimated. There is probably more snow depth in some of those regions there in North Dakota, but 27 near Duluth. I know I saw a report out of two harbors is just north of Duluth, close to uh, 29 inches of snowfall just this week. So this system was pretty impressive and we're still feeling the impacts of it because well we have the winds and some flurries outside right now. Notice uh, travel conditions OK currently on Highway 52. Temperatures are at 27. Winds are out of the west at 17 miles per hour. Wind gusts here still some gusty conditions. Mason City, Charles City at about 20 to 28 miles per hour. Road conditions here have been improving throughout the day today. Right now road conditions close to normal north of Rochester towards the cities. We still have some completely to partially covered, mainly looking just south of Highway 14, so getting closer towards Mower into uh, into Fillmore and then towards Mississippi River Valley. We do have some light snow starting to approach the area right along I-35, so we'll watch that light snow start to move in here tonight. Accumulations minor, road conditions should be okay even with that light snow starting to move in. So just some uh, isolated light snow showers through the overnight hours. Accumulations staying less than an inch here tonight. Tomorrow, a couple flurries in the morning. High temperature temperatures warming into the upper teens. It will be cold coming up next week. We're looking at the 22nd through the 26th. Sixth single digit highs and sub zero lows. We'll be tracking. Keep a close eye on wind chills. Could have wind chills approaching maybe 20 to 30 below by late next week. Talked about those wind chills. Look at Wednesday morning, Thursday morning, and once again Friday morning. So keep an eye on the forecast moving into the holiday weekend. Temperatures here tonight 15 for that overnight low. Weekend forecast 18 and then 10 for the high temperature Saturday and Sunday. Seven day forecast 10 for that high on Sunday. Next week we are tracking the chance for some snowfall coming up Monday, Wednesday and Thursday. We'll be right back.